and the strong rains and high winds made a big impact in Beverly Hills. And that is where 7 News Detroit reporter Brittany Tulis is joining us live this morning to start our Team 7 coverage. And Brittany, what kind of damage are you seeing there? Yeah, Alicia Keenan, I am right on Lockerbie Road off of Southfield Road here in Beverly Hills. And you guys mentioned the dark. The dark is the first thing we notice because you see this giant tree behind me. We did not see this tree turning onto this road. We're only three houses in because of how dark it is. And we're going to show you, Danny, if you could hit the light really quick. This is how dark it is in the area. The lights you are seeing are from our headlights and from our backlight we have here. So it is pitch black here. This area is about 50% without power. And you can also hear some generators. There's a house here that has some lights on because they have a generator and if we can look into their driveway you can see just all of the tree limbs and down tree limbs that fell within their driveway and in between these two homes. Now Danny if we can get back to this big tree here you can see this big tree went down and if you follow it up it crashed into actually another tree across the street. So it is completely blocking this road. And if we can come down here and look at this root system, this tree is completely uprooted. You can see all of these broken roots here. And with these roots coming up, it also ripped up the sidewalk right here. And I'm gonna take my time walking across it because it is really uneven here. But if we can swing around this sidewalk, this street is just littered with trees. And like I said, we're only three houses in and we could barely get into this street. So Lockerbie is completely impassable right now. And the people in this area said they knew a storm was coming last night, but they had no idea it would be this strong and do this much damage. I didn't think that the swell was going to be that big. I saw the storm notification on my phone and uh, when it was here, it was here. Uh, trees down, branches down, cars damaged. And we're going to be here all morning looking at this damage. And we were talking about this earlier, me and Danny, the photographer. When the sun comes up, we're only going to see more of it. Because like I said, it is really dark and we're only seeing what our lights are shining on right now. So we're going to be out here walking this block all morning and showing you guys. And DTE's website also says they have crews out working to get power on all over. Like I said, this area, up to 50% of customers without power here. I'm going to toss it back to you guys. But for now, live in Beverly Hills, I'm Brittany Tulis for 7 News Detroit this morning. And Brittany, a lot of times when you have down trees, you have down power lines. So we want to remind everybody you need to stay at least 25 feet away from those down lines. A lot of times when you're walking around, you walk up on them because you haven't seen them. So another reminder there. Uh, and definitely to be careful.